Hello, it's Sarah. And tonight I have my very first easel cards to share. I um, had been making the ATCs with the Graphic 45 paper and thought, well, I... And then I saw some easel cards made with the Graphic 45 paper and thought I wanted to give it a try. So I did. I found a really great tutorial. I think her name's Kathleen, and I'll put that in the description box below. Um, it's very simple. Um, and then I also watched um, my Butterfly Kisses, Arlene. She actually, her tutorial, she folded the card um, the opposite way. Um, Kathleen had her, um, the top part of this piece was glued to the fold, but Arlene glued the bottom piece, and I think that's, and she said it's because her cards are heavy usually on the bottom, and it helps it to stay down. So this is the very first one I made, and it really has no sentiment. I mean, I just wanted to play with the paper, and um, so I, and I'm figuring it out as I go. I'm actually struggling with the inside of the cards for some reason. I don't know what to do. I mean, this one turned out pretty cool. Um, and I think you could just put a sentiment or um, I could add a sentiment to the top here or something if I wanted to put congratulations or thinking of you or anything. But basically, I just kind of played with the papers in the same way that I do my ATCs. So this is the front. I just layered. Um, I also matted everything onto a piece of black cardstock. Uh, I believe this is a six by six as well. And then I have to. I'm going to start. Yeah, this is these are six. This is a six by six, and I'm going to start playing with my um, my envelope maker. My um, what's it called? It's called the envelope punch board. I haven't tried one yet, so. Um, I'll have to do that, but this is the first one and like I said, I mean, I don't really have a sentiment I just used the paper line. This actually is a piece of ribbon and then I just put some of the paper there um, And a couple of other things and pop some stuff up. So that's the first one And then this is the second one I made which I love This is the couture graphic 45 line and again, I really just did them like I did the ATC's I just collaged them and stacked different um, elements so I have some um, lace and a little lace on top with the bling and the and the pearls these were given to me by Mary and um, just again matted the paper line with black cardstock to kind of make it pop off um, the paper uh, fussy cut couture and I also glossy accented it so it has a little shine to it and then I did my wink Estella again on everything which I love I had this pearl in my stash and put that there and put a little flower on top of this um, filigree element it's actually not uh, a filigree it's like a piece of metal that I've had forever and of course I colored it with my um, my gold my um, what the heck is it called my gold leafing pen sorry so that's the front and I stickled the little bling there and then when you open it up I put I just tried to play the laces and the the beads the beads and the gold so it's kind of playing off the top a little bit do you know what I mean um, I put I'm sorry the black beads the black beads and then the gold bling the gold bling so it kind of ties in and then these are the mementa um, these were actually on clearance and I picked them up I picked up all that they had but it's actually silver but because all the elements were gold I just did again with my gold leafing pen and then I just backed that with some black cardstock too and put a couple of little um, stamps there so that's the inside of that one and then I did a smaller that's another six by six but then I did a smaller and I want to say this is four and a quarter let's see four and three quarters by four and three quarters and so I did the couture line again and I put this little charm I've had it just was the right color I don't know and it kind of seemed like maybe I don't even know if they had these car this is more of a 50s car actually not probably the era of this uh, paper line but still um, and again just the same type of thing that I've been doing with the ATC's I just um, backed everything with the black cardstock to kind of make it pop 
I used a doily um, on this one and some of that lace, some black um, bling, and some corners, those metal corners. Those are memento again, I think. And then let's, oh, I put a little eyelash trim there. Um, I, ha I hooked this charm with a big old pearl brad. And then inside this one, I did, I had, this is one of the bigger, it was more of a plaque, and I used my, um, what is this, like a big old filigree, or um, not filigree, but like a, um, a scallop, here it is, a two inch scallop punch, just for something to put behind, this is a two inch scallop punch, and I, I put that behind the thank you, you can't really tell, but it does pop out on the edges a little bit, and then I used, again, I tied in, these were the, um, the pearl bling that um, Mary gave me with some of the other bling. So it's kind of, I kind of tried to tie that in with another little piece of lace and some of the paper line. So that's what I'm doing inside. Now I'm not sure I wanna, so anybody who knows a good video that can show me where you could write, now I'm sure you could write um, on this part. If I just put uh, a piece of paper there, I could write a message as well. So, um, but I'm getting the hang of it, but I, I just wanted to make sure that they all stood up. And then this is the final one that I did with, um, I have very little scraps left of the old Curiosity Shop. And I love, love, love that paper line. I made a photo, a, a mini album with it. And I wish, I need to get another one. I'm going to look around for another one just to have it in your stash so that you have it. Because it's so cool to play with. But I again, I just kind of layered it on here. Um, I put a little black stickles because I think that, um, that lace kind of just like, it, I, t I put it over the black line there and it didn't have a frame, but I just cut out these butterflies and, um, put the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic on there and popped a few things up and, um, put this little vial with the legs in it <laughs> on top of there and a little bling. I haven't really been adding bling to things other than the, um, like the lace bling. So then, and inside this one, I haven't quite figured out what to do with this one. It'll stand up, but I've only just put the, the butterflies down there. And I kind of like that, but there's really no sentiment. So I was thinking like I could put, I was, I think I might put this thank you here. So, and then it could stand like that because this is a popped up one, but I really like the butterflies. So, um, but that's my old curiosity shop one. And then lastly, I have, um, and I think that's another four and three quarters um, inch one. I have these um, Old Curiosity Shop ATCs. And this one's my, this one's not, it was the first one I made, but look how cute this turned out. I put an, uh, an airplane um, brad in there, and then it just says when pigs fly. So I popped them up and wink a stellar their wings and put some um, cloud punched clouds there. This one just has, this is one of the, um, chipboard pieces and it has the honey almond cream on there so this was the honey almond cream I fussy cut that out and this other bottle and just put it on some black uh, from the paper line to add and a little bling and some pearls and then this one's really cool another chipboard piece with the lady with the um, the key in the back and some of the li uh, leaf trim that Mary gave me and some butterflies I cut out and a little bee that I punched out so that one's pretty cute because I played into this like uh, leafy look that she had going on. And then this one, another piece of the chipboard because I had the chipboard and then I just glossy accented everything. And um, this is like a fly that I fussy cut out and wink a stell at him and put the old curiosity shop in the corner. So I really like them. They turned out super cute just to add to my collection. So that's what I've been doing. I'm going to make some birthday cards, some birthday easel cards. Um, my granddaughter's birthday is in July. So um, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching.